Bonjour, bonjour, salut, coucou, welcome, or welcome back to my channel, my name is Cyril. I used to be a stem cell researcher for quite some time, and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare ingredients. And today's video is something that I've not done for quite some time actually, which is a reaction video towards a uh, harem uh, evening routine actually, that uh, has been published on Harper Bazaar. Harper's Bazaar, Harper Bazaar, I don't know how to, to say it, but anyway, this is not really uh, relevant. Um, always with those type of uh, reaction videos, or also when I go uh, quite hard against a brand or etc., uh, you need to understand that it is never about the person, of course. Uh, I think this is something that is uh, very important to remind uh, people because like the last time that I did a re reaction video, it was actually um, on products uh, recommendation, actually on sunscreen recommendation from Haram. Uh, if you are not new to my channel, you will know that sunscreen is like on the top of my pyramid of uh, skincare. This is so important and I always recommend you like some hardcore basically um, protection, especially when you are outside. I only recommend SPF 50 plus even when you are outside. I mean, the main reason is because like in 10 and 20 years when you are going to age, you will thank me. But of course, it has absolutely nothing to do with uh, Hiram or uh, someone else. It is always about the products. Uh, and extra, I think this is something very important to uh, to keep this in mind. Okay, anyway, we are going just like to literally dive in <laughs> into the video. Before I even start, um, I wanted to film this video because I've watched um, the, the video. I saw that uh, Jams did uh, a reaction video um, about it and I, and therefore this is why I've decided to uh, to look at his uh, routine. And when I saw the video, I was like, yeah, oh my God, I also want to do a, a reaction towards his uh, routine. So let's dive in, people. <sighs> okay. I am not a pretty sight when I wash my face. I look like a fish gasping for air. Or gasping for water. They don't gasp for air, they're underwater. Gasping for water. <laughs> just from the start, something that I always find very, very nice about Hiram is how just funny he is. Definitely if you're in a bad mood or you just didn't have a, a good day, I always find like just refreshing to, um, to watch Hiram. I am so excited to be able to show you my skincare routine because I am usually used to reacting to skincare routines. I'm not used to showing other people my skincare routine. And especially because it's switching so often, I feel like there's no sense of normalcy. But now I'm excited to reveal it to you guys because so many of you have been asking and yeah, this is just gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's totally right. Definitely when you are like an influencer, like myself included, of course, uh, I have to say that it's very difficult to have like a stable uh, routine. I do encourage you to have like a pretty stable routine, but for us, it is quite difficult because, well, we need to product new contents. And of course, I cannot just talk about and he cannot just talk about the um, same product over um, and over. So it's quite challenging actually to have like a a proper fun. routine. So first thing I do is I use a cleansing balm. I'm specifically using the Then I Met You Living cleansing balm. I like this one because, well, I like cleansing balms in general because they're a great way of just dissolving the sunscreen and excess oil and dirt buildup that has accumulated throughout the day off of your skin. Um, cleansing oils are nice, but sometimes they can be a little bit messy, which is why I like cleansing balms. But typically I don't go for a lot of cleansing balms because they have an ingredient called polyethylene, which is plastic. And I kind of don't want to be putting plastic on my face and having it go down the drain. And this one is polyethylene free, which is why I really like it. So I usually just take a little bit. There's some skincare ASMR. Woo! <laughs> this stuff is like a mango smoothie on the skin. I love applying it because it applies so smoothly and it's formulated with a lot of rich hydrating oils that are really great for nourishing the skin, which I think is awesome because the cleansing system can usually be a little bit stripping to the skin. And a lot of people don't realize that cleansing can be the most damaging part of the skincare routine if we're not careful. And I really like that this one is formulated with so many oils to just really soften and nourish my skin. Basically, what he's going to do is to double cleanse uh, his face. Uh, I mean, if you're not new to my channel, and by the way, if you are new, consider to subscribe to it, please, people. It will help me a lot. But anyway, uh, I am exactly like uh, him. I do prefer to always recommend you to double cleanse. The main reason is because your second step, so the water-based cleanser, and it's going to use one that I believe is very gentle with an acidic pH, 
most of the time those ones they are just too too gentle to just uh, remove like all the sunscreen especially maybe the makeup if you are wearing uh, makeup so definitely double cleansing your skin is uh, the way to go so the cleansing balm that you use is uh, this one this is a uh, um, like in my opinion the type of balm that is more like uh, luxe basically when you have like a more um, pleasant experience when you are double cleansing and washing your face this one is indeed a good one for it uh, the first time that I've tried it actually and I've said it like uh, a long time ago on my channel I didn't really like it uh, I think the reason is because I didn't use um, enough with this one to make it work you need uh, plenty to use um, it does have a lot of uh, botanical oils and also like essential oils like you mentioned i am also like uh, uh like him if it is not in a live-on product i do not think that it is a major problem for most people unless you are of course allergic uh, to them in that case you should absolutely um do not use them even in a wash off um product um this is very pleasant to use if you use plenty of it uh, in my opinion it seems that it doesn't use uh, enough at least on me uh, i do need enough because um else it is it does not literally like lubricate uh, well the skin also like spend some time to message in the product also do uh, your neck maybe uh, it didn't do his neck um it yeah, he didn't do his neck in, the, in this video because it could be quite messy when you're filming yourself and you do like uh, uh, your neck and etc. I mean, I can understand this, but please do also your neck. Sometimes also the back of your neck. Don't forget to put sunscreen uh, also here. So you will need to wash it off at the end of the day. What I do, and this is definitely not glam, is actually I use my kitchen uh, sink. And the reason is because the tap is pretty high. So I can just put my head uh, under the, the tap, like uh, the back of my neck. I mean, I just find it more uh, practical. Do you have to do this? No, you can also use like your shower or whatever. I mean, do something that is uh, useful for you. So if you don't know about um, double cleansing, uh, you use first a balm. It also could be actually uh, a cleansing oil. Like uh, I really love like the one from uh, Adalabo, for example, uh, another balm that I love, love, uh, but it doesn't have any fragrance. It's the one from Clinique, take the day off. Uh, one that is almost the same actually, but with a fragrance. Uh, this is the new from I'm From, the Fig cleansing balm that is also uh, very nice. I mean, if there is one step in your routine where you can basically introduce perfume without uh, being too worried uh, about it, this is definitely in the cleansing um, stage. For your water-based uh, cleanser, so use one from uh, Youth to the People, the spinach uh, something. Never tried it, so I cannot really uh, comment on it. it seems to be very gentle always my recommendation for you for water-based cleanser make sure that the ph is acidic and that is not stripping is totally right and this is what he said in the beginning um, of the video i mean having an improper cleansing routine is very damaging on the skin either because it is uh, too gentle to the point that you don't remove like sunscreen for example which is very very not good and you can also have clogged pores and etc but you also have the opposite like people tends to strip their skin like crazy the problem with uh, surfactants that you have like in a water-based cleanser is that they are going to remove the sebum which is not necessarily bad but also the lipid that you have on your epidermis which are the intracellular um, lipid the epidermal lipids and those when you have like the beautiful ceramides you have the cholesterol the free fatty acid and oh lord you do not want them to be um, in the sink so it's very important to have a gentle cleanser pretty sure that you also use a very gentle one and this will really have like a massive impact uh, on your skin uh, one last thing is that when you're using your uh, water-based cleanser spend some time to really like rinse it thoroughly to not have any residue of um, the detergent basically wow i made it over to the bathroom with my eyes closed and i did not spill on my shirt <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't always win that battle but today i did i guess woo also, oh my god, the my struggle of being an influencer. I, I don't have sensitive <laughs> skin. My skin can actually handle a lot of products, ingredients, testing, etc, etc, but it is reactive. If the wind blows, my skin's like, pfft, inflammation instantly. Next, I go in with a new step that I haven't been using for very long. It's I have to say that e-skin looks pretty impressive. Uh, really just after cleansing looks so clear you can see like uh, his, um, his skin tone is really even and etc the skin also doesn't seem to be stripped at all which is very important people have a proper cleansing routine like we just um 
talk about yeah for the redness i do think that this is also like a sort of a problem or fair skin like mine also when i wash my face just by simply having like pressure on my skin it just bring like the blood flow if it is something that only lasts like for five minutes it is fine you don't have any problem however when you start to have like a redness around here by the way i have a video about redness and rosacea you can go and check it out you need to know if it is really coming from like sensitization from what you are using or if it is uh, something like more on your skin type, so you basically have constitutional uh, impaired skin barrier. You may also have rosacea, but in that case, and this is what I explained in my redness video, you need to consult with a dermatologist to exactly know what you have, because in that case, this is like a, a medical issue, um, basically. It's the Instree Green Tea Fresh Toner. Now, normally I'm not a big toner person because I don't really feel that they're necessary to a skincare routine, but this product, the first ingredient is green tea extract. The first ingredient and it's like super affordable and normally products with that high of a concentration of green tea heck even less of a concentration of green tea are super super expensive so i was pleasantly surprised to find this and i also don't use a cotton pad i just put it in my palms and pat it into my skin so again, we are very similar. I have to say that the hydrating product that I tend to use, they are always like a sort of uh, toners slash essences. I mean, you have heard me talk about like the Adalabo, the Premium Lotion and etc. And also exactly like himself, I think he's going to to say it later on on the video. I am really big into like key beauty product or Japanese product. One of the reasons because most of the formula are really well done, but at the same time, you just have those beautiful texture really well done uh, really nice i mean you you have like the best of the both world <laughs> in a way so this one um i've been on the website to just look uh, at it something that is nice is that the ph because it, this is a ph of 5.8 so of course this is excellent to start you routine uh, with just by looking at the list of ingredients they are good but it doesn't seem to be like deeply deeply hydrating most likely for him because I know that he lives in uh, Hawaii. Hawaii is it Hawaii <laughs> uh, in English? It is quite humid, so most likely doesn't need um, that amount. Um, so the first ingredient is uh, Camellia sinensis uh, leaf extract, which is basically an extract from um, green tea. What I always find funny in a way, even though it doesn't mean much, is that when you look at the concentration, it's supposed to contain like eighty percent of leaf extract. So the eighty percent in reality doesn't mean much because in those extracts, so this is a water extract with some of the components of the uh, tea leaves, you don't know if it is like 10% uh, on the 85% like a smidget. So in this one, just looking at the color, most likely does contains a substantial amount of it. Uh, there is a polyphenol from tea that seems to be an excellent antioxidant for the tea. And I mean, I like this idea of having a sort of multi-purpose product because it builds up the hydration, which is very important. Everybody should have this step in their routine, either with a, a toner, with an essence, an hydrating serum, it does not really matter. But if this one also have like some green tea extract, I'm like, oh, okay, girl, <laughs> why not? I mean, why not? Also before I forgot, uh, I also like the, the way that he applies it, he use his hands. Uh, I also do the same. I do find like using a cotton pad uh, is, search, is sort of a waste of products. Of course, if you did, uh, if you do enjoy it and you like it, or you want to use like a cotton pad just to sort of cleanse your skin in the morning, I am not a big fan of cleansing the skin in the morning, but you can use like one of those uh, gentle toner actually to uh, do it. In that case, yes, you can absolutely use um, a cotton pad, absolutely. Because the next product I use is from Verst. It's the Press Restart Gentle Retinol Serum. Retinol is one of my favorite ingredients for just repairing so much damage within the skin. It's so well researched. There's so many benefits to it. And I think it's a must, especially considering like how much sun exposure I get here and just the stressors and the fact that I do age so quickly, retinol is a must step in my skincare routine. For a few months I went off of retinol and I've been slowly like making my way back into it and this one's a more gentle formula so it's better and more ideal to make sure that like my skin doesn't you know freak out when I start to use it. First thing first, you wait until the toner is completely fully dry. Uh, this is something that I uh, usually do not recommend you. And the reason is because the water is going to evaporate from your skin. And when water is uh, evaporating, you are just going to lower the water content on the surface of your skin. So this is not something that I recommend. Uh, for the retinol that you use, I have to say that I do not think that you really need to use retinol when you are in your 20s, early 20s. I usually advise you to start uh, with retinol when you reach 
your uh, 30s. Something about retinol. Retinol is exactly like vitamin A. This is just um, a synonym. And your skin is using daily the retinol. So yeah, in terms of anti-aging, this is, is absolutely right. Uh, this is one in over-the-counter skincare ingredient that has the most research and especially in vivo research on us. And this is basically one yeah, this is basically the only ingredient where we have like a direct proof that when you apply it on the skin, it stimulates collagen, elastin, etc. It also something that I don't say uh, enough. It also prevents the degradation of collagen in your skin and is absolutely right about this because when the skin is exposed to UV, so UVB and UVA, how lovely, it also promotes the degradation of collagen, especially uh, one type of enzymes, which are collagenized. Uh, they are metalloproteases. Uh, this is not important, but those uh, specific enzymes are activated after UV exposure and they degrade the collagen. And we know that retinol prevents uh, this even better the tretinoin. But again, be careful because this is very uh, irritating. I mean, my philosophy when you are um, a teenager to your 20s, the more thing that is really the most important is simply sunscreen. Yeah, sunscreen and moisturizing your skin like crazy. If your skin is always well moisturized, you have a proper sunscreen and you don't uh, tan, most likely you are not going to need retinol. Now, if you want to be like over the top, yeah, of course you can use the retinol. So it's using the one from Verse. You don't need like a, a crazy amount, even though 0.3 is uh, probably too much um, in a way. Uh, I'm using the 0.3, but I'm way older. So the one that he used is from Verst. I have never tried any product from this brand. So this is the Press Restart Gentle Retinol Serum. Um, I tell you right off the bat, when I look at the formula, this is not bad at all. Um, this is also encapsulated retinol. My main problem with it is that we don't know the concentration. This is always something that I emphasize you. We need to know the concentration of retinol. It's, um, it's something that is very important. Uh, just need to know uh, if you react to it like this, you will know, oh, I've been using like the 0.5% retinol. This is just too much for me, especially if you are in your 20s, you just don't need to build up uh, the concentration of retinol. So I think this is an important uh, point. You need to know the concentration of your actives, especially with uh, retinol. And this is in general something that I do not like. I do not like when you don't know the concentration of proper actives like retinol, like vitamin C, ascorbic acid, like your acid, the exfoliating acid. This is very important to know the damn um, concentration. I mean, in this case, because it's really young, is it really important? Not really. Actually, this one just seems to be very gentle. Also, maybe because the concentration is so low, I don't know. Um, one last thing that he mentioned that is also very important. If you want to start your way with retinol, like I said, know the concentration and also start slowly. Usually what I advise um, people is to dilute the retinol with your moisturizer. This as simple as that. So you apply first your toner, you apply a tiny bit of the retinol. The best one are the one with a pump. I always recommend the one from Polar Choice, for example, like this one, for example, the clinical, the ceramid enrich from so either this one contains the 0.1% retinol, so it's still efficient, but it's still very low. Uh, this is still a potent treatment because it has also a lot of derivatives of vitamin C. So maybe it also have it also adds some antioxidant properties. You just use like one pump and you mix it with your moisturizer and you spend some time to massage it in your skin. And don't start like every single evening, please, people. Start maybe uh, twice per week to three times per week for at least two weeks, at least. And then you slowly increase the concentration over a long period of time. And once you have introduced retinol, you can keep on uh, using it, of course. Don't stop or else you will lose the um, retinization, which is basically the tolerance period and you will be back to uh, point number one. <laughs> the Great Barrier Relief from Crave Beauty. When I first found this product, didn't, I, was, I was in such a dark place. I don't know where I was before this. This like saved my skin, <laughs> which sounds dramatic, but hello. That's me. <laughs> this one I specifically love because what it focuses on is helping to repair the skin's moisture barrier. And I think what we don't realize is that we tend to just pummel our skin with so many treatments, at least I do. So that sometimes I forget that, you know, the health of the skin is just as important as seeing results. And those two things are not interchangeable. Your skin can be, you know, seeing really good results in terms of like exfoliation and retinol, but not be adequately healthy. Yeah, he is absolutely right. And I do think that this is a major problem right now. This is why in my content I always emphasize about how an ingredient 
works, what you should expect of them, and all the, the side effect, I would say this is very important because people always want more, 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 more exfoliation, more retinol, uh, more vitamin C, and etc. And at the end, like you say, you just damage your skin barrier. So uh, I will have like a future video on how to heal your skin barrier. This is very, very important, and you need to be very um, uh, gentle. So about the Great Barrier Relief, I have to say that I really enjoy uh, this product. They are I think almost known in vivo data on uh, the Tamanu oil because this one used Tamanu oil, but still this is a very very interesting product, really really well done. Uh, this is a very clever formula. I have an old video where I've reviewed this bad boy. I think I filmed it while I was in the United States because currently I am in Paris, in Paris. But yeah, this is um, a great one. So this is uh, sold as a serum, but actually uh, you can use it like as you uh, a moisturizer. The, the texture is very, very nice. It's very fluid. Yeah, it's very fluid, but at the same time, it is uh, pretty moisturizing. I mean, this is a great product, definitely. Mm. And uh, also the smell. It doesn't have any perfume, but this is the smell from Tamanu Old. It is quite pleasant, <laughs> uh, I have to say. I mean, I love the smell. I really also enjoy um, this product. If you want to introduce it in your uh, routine, because there are so many uh, botanical ingredients in this one, um, I would advise you to do maybe a little patch test and try it for three days, but don't add any more uh, new stuff in your routine. So like this, you just see how your skin um, reacts to it, but I really, really love it, really. And I'm dying for Crave Beauty to finally launch um, their product like worldwide, because if you are in France or in the EU, in Europe, for example, this is so damn difficult to, <laughs> to get them. I have been absolutely loving the Rovectin Clean Water Cream. It comes with little stickers that you can put on the bottle, so I customize my own. It's cute. This one I love because it's formulated with a crazy high concentration of lotus, which is great for, you know, reducing sensitivity and irritation in the face and also for, you know, potentially being anti-aging and antioxidant properties. But I specifically love this one because it's a very lightweight water cream. So it absorbs into the skin so quickly and does not feel heavy. I've actually been really liking using this one during the day because I can ensure that it will not make my skin look really oily or greasy, something that's really important to me, particularly during the summer. Always make sure. Okay, so the last step of this routine is to basically use a moisturizer. Uh, just by looking at this moisturizer, I've never tried it. So this is from Rovectin. Rovectin? I do find the name weird, but <laughs> anyway. So I look at the formula, it seems to be a very, very lovely um, uh, moisturizer, actually. Uh, pretty simple, actually, M most likely hydrating. The main um, emollient in this one is hydrogenated polyisobutane, which is an alternative for mineral oil, but this is an excellent one. We also have uh, capric capric tree glycerin, like to lock in the water. And like, again, I do like this idea of layering several uh, moisturizing product, especially they are all water-based. So therefore, by doing so, you are also going like to just increase the water content of um, uh, the water content on the in the top on in no in the top surface of uh, your skin i definitely have to try this product because it seems i have to say glorious and pretty lightweight like most likely like for the summer it is a good one especially to put it like under a more emollient sunscreen uh, and we are not going to wash at the end of the video together but you definitely should because they have like some very interesting reflection about skincare and i have to say that i should also probably promote it uh, more often, which is about like indulging yourself, like having just pleasure doing your skincare routine. This is something that is very, very important because this is, like I said, self-care. And this is so important. Uh, I do think like in your day, like just taking like 10 to 15 minutes in the evening, like 10 minutes in the morning, just focus on you, on your skin, just doing something just for you. It's so, so damn um, important. So basically that's it for today. I hope you like uh, this video. I really enjoyed uh, watching his video. Like personally, I really love his uh, personality. He's all like, I don't know, his vibes are always so positive. I will still to this day tell you, please, do not use SPF 30 even <laughs> when you recommend them. Uh, I am like very adamant about this. You do need an SPF of 50 plus, a peer rating of at least um, four pluses. If you are based on the United States, you best options are either the one from Crave Beauty, actually Crave Beauty, they have an amazing sunscreen, which is um, the, the Beat Shield. Yeah, this is the Beat Shield. 
uh, or order a Korean sunscreen or um, a Japanese sunscreen, for example, you will uh, be uh, way more protected. I have a ton of videos um, about this. And well, basically, that's it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are new, consider to subscribe to my channel and don't forget the beautiful bell to get notified every single time that I will publish a new video. You can also follow me on Instagram. I have two. Um, uh, one in English and one in French and well basically that's it. Thank you so so much for your precious time and I will see you next time beautiful people. Au revoir